you are, Lord, we come to you saying thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thanking you, Lord, for waking us up in our right minds. Thanking you for waking us up and starting us on our way. Thanking you, Lord, for the breath that is in our lungs. Thanking you for a reasonable portion of health and strength. No matter how we walked in, no matter how we woke up this morning, no matter how we logged on to Facebook this morning to see the service, Lord, you are yet and still in the blessing business. So, Lord, we thank you for each and every last thing that you continue to do. Lord, if you never do another thing for us, Lord, we are already grateful. So, Lord, we will put smiles on our face. We will have joy in our heart because, Lord, the world didn't give it to us and the world cannot take it away from us. So, Lord, we invite your Holy Spirit into this manifest right here, right now, Lord, Heavenly Father. Lord, we ask that you increase and multiply, Lord, Heavenly Father, that, Lord, you will put your beam of light in this sanctuary on this morning, just as the light is shining outside, that, Lord, you will put a new song in our mouths, a pep in our step, Lord, and, Lord, you will give us the victory over all things. So, Lord, we thank you. We love you. And, Lord, we will forever give you all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, all of God's people say amen, 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 amen. and to the glory of God, amen, amen, amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord.
uh, if we have any announcements at this time, any announcements at this time. The uh, first and foremost, uh, we do have the announcements which have been printed up in your bulletin. Uh, please govern yourselves accordingly. We definitely, definitely thank all and who are all are contributing towards the uh, Resurrection of Life campaign. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we love you for that. Um, and that will go from March the 6th up until August the 7th. Um, for that, you can do a five hundred dollar, uh, excuse me, uh, a one fifty dollar pledge, a three hundred dollar pledge, and also a five hundred dollar pledge. Um, when we do do the unveiling of it out in the vestibule, everyone will have the same gold, uh, either plate or leaf. Amen. And so, uh, so, so everyone uh, will be on the same plateau. And so we, we don't want to discredit anyone and we want uh, everyone to feel a part of what we are trying to do here and grow Bethel into. Amen. 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 I am happy to, to say that for uh, Monday, Thursday service, which is going to be on uh, April the 14th, that we will have that service. That is the commemoration service. Uh, of the Last Supper. And so we will have that here at the church uh, at 7 p.m. I'm also happy to say during Holy Week as well, uh, that Good Friday after the Monday Thursday service, then we will have the seven last words for Good Friday. And we have a mighty, mighty, mighty good lineup. Uh, you will see it out on uh, Facebook uh, sometime this week as well as our other, other medium platforms uh, just to give you a, a taste of what you will hear for the seven and last words. We will have um, Reverend uh, we will have Reverend May Ella Williams. She will be giving us a word. Uh, Reverend uh, uh, our, our Lita Jackson. She will give us a word. That's uh, Reverend AJ. Uh, Reverend uh, Rick Jackson will also give us a word. Bishop Lamont at uh, Edward Sr. will give us a word, and um, uh, Reverend Damon Mitchell will give us a word, amen, right. and we will also have uh, Reverend uh, Bird to also give us a word. Amen. So we are wanting to bring the house down for Holy Week, amen, amen, amen. leading up into resurrection service. And so I thank you, we thank you, and we solicit your prayers as always. God bless you. Good morning, church. I almost forgot. I gave you butter. Today is milk. <laughs> so it's 2%, 1%, and chocolate. So come on down. I got bags to, for you to load them up. And please take this milk home with you. Thank you. Amen. 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 We will now read the scripture, the scripture which comes from the book of Joshua. Book of Joshua, the third book, and it is verses number five through seven. And it reads, And Joshua said to the people, Sanctify yourselves, for tomorrow the Lord will do wonders among you. Then Joshua spoke to the priest, saying, Take up the Ark of the Covenant and cross over before the people. So they took up the Ark of the Covenant and went before the people. And the Lord said to Joshua, This day I will begin to exalt you in the sight of Israel, that they might know that as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. May the Lord add a blessing to the readers, the hearers, and the doers of his word. Amen. 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 Uh, today, after the next uh, two selections that we actually give, we will hear a word from Minister Terrence Haynes. I, I solicit your prayers for him. And I solicit your prayers to put forth that right hand and point that finger and say, Preach, preacher, preach. Amen, amen. I saw him select.
and my body to you as a living sacrifice that I may glorify you in Jesus precious name I pray. Amen. 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 <coughs> turn to me to the book turn with me to the book of Joshua the third chapter and I'll be reading verses 5 through 7 the book of Joshua, the third chapter, verses 5 through 7. <clears throat> and Joshua said to the people, Sanctify yourselves, for tomorrow the Lord will do wonders among you. Then Joshua spoke to the priests, saying, Take up the cross, take up the ark of the covenant, and cross over before the people. So they took up the ark of the covenant and went before the people. And the Lord said to Joshua, This day I will begin to exalt you in the sight of all Israel, that they may know that as I was with Moses, so will I be with you. Amen. Word of God for the people. The title of my sermon, the text of the sermon today is Church, it's time to sanctify yourselves. Right. Repeat after me. Church, Church. Church. It's, time it's time to sanctify, to sanctify. yourselves. <laughs> As the startled Israelites heard these words from Joshua, <coughs> their hearts leaped for joy. For at, for at last, the promise made to them by God the Father so long ago will soon be fulfilled. Their minds, no doubt, ran back to the accounts related to them by their elders of how God has sanctified and set Israel as his chosen people. They promised them that one day he would give them a land flowing with milk and honey. The wait had been long and the journey hard. They had wandered in the wilderness for 40 years and were tired, disgruntled, somewhat lax in their morals, often absent from worship services, often sitting, disgusted, dusty, weather beaten, and worn as they camped there along the windy palisades 
of the muddy jaw. But now their frowns had turned to smiles, and their tears of sadness turned to tears of unspeakable joy. For the command had come to sanctify yourselves, prepare yourselves, to bring your hearts back to a holy state again. But today, with so many varied conceptions of sanctification, many are confused as to its various aspects. Can a person sanctify himself or herself? What essentially is sanctification? What is its effects? Our Articles of Faith reads, sanctification is the process by which, according to the will of God, we are made partakers of his holiness. It is a progressive work that it began in the regeneration by the Holy Spirit. As he assists us in self-examination, self-denial, watchfulness, and prayer, the word sanctification has caused much confusion among religious groups throughout the world due to faulty interpretations. Some say that it, it affects a social withdrawal on the part of its recipients will change in the outward appearance. To the extent that the person involved will no longer want to wear rings, use cosmetics, discontinue hair beautification, and the use of television. But this sounds much like the outward show of a forensic asceticism. The two Latin words that form the word sanctify or sanctus and five, which means to make holy. It is true that we must withdraw from the sins of society, but not from the sinners, for the sinners need our help to find Christ. It is true we are to look different, but it should be due to an interchange, not the lack of cosmetics. For well, it is not the face powder on the face that offends, but it is the face behind the powder that has the mean look. For well, it is not the stylish hairdo on the head that is evil. It is the head that is under the hair that gives birth to lies and evil schemes. For well, it is not the lipstick on the lips that is sinful. It is the lips under the lipstick that spreads gossip and ruins reputation. But it is not the ring on the finger that is dangerous. It is the finger in the ring that pulls the trigger that takes a life. New Testament sanctification is not a sanctification of clothes, but of souls. True, modern inventions are affecting the church activities, such as radio, televisions, and automobiles. But it is not the use of these things that are causing the concern. It is the misuse of these things that has crippled the progress of Christ's church. To sanctify has many meanings to consecrate to God's service, to grant holiness to someone or something, to manifest God in one's life. Joshua had to reference to the latter when he said to the Israelites, sanctify yourselves, for tomorrow the Lord will do wonders among you. No. They could not sanctify their hearts and souls, but they could sanctify their activities. What Joshua meant was, 
if you have strayed away, come back. If you are filthy, clean up. If you are down, get up. If you are in sin, come out. If you are up too high, come down. Mm -hmm. Clean up your conversations, your character, action, attitudes, minds, and start living a sanctified lifestyle. Mm -hmm. If you want God to answer your prayers and do great things on your behalf, he will go all the way with you and never leave you nor forsake you. If only you could, would live a godly lifestyle. Mm -hmm. He will do wonders in your home, your neighborhood, your town, state, and nation. Mm -hmm. If only the Christian segment of the populace would live a Christian lifestyle or Christian life. Another meaning of sanctification is to get apart religiously to be made spiritually profitable. This is what Jesus was asking of his father when his time on earth was drawing to a close. Jesus said, I pray not that thou shouldest take them up out of the world, but thou shouldest keep them from the evil of the world. Don't take them out of the world. Just keep the evil of the world from them. In setting things apart religiously and making them spiritually profitable. God is a sanctifying expert. For he sanctified a tree in the Garden of Eden and made it stand for good and evil. A bush and set it on fire to tell Moses to go down to Egypt and set my people free. Yeah. A crock stick in the hands of Moses and use it to divide the Red Sea. An ax head to make it float on water like a piece of wood. A meat barrel and use it to feed a hungry widow and a preacher in distress. A little rock in a little sling of a little boy and a big giant and a scattered a big arm. Mm -hmm. A fire and it leaped out of heaven at Elijah's call. Hezekiah's life and it lasted 15 years long. A tree stump and use it to show Job that thou, though you be cut down in time, you will sprout up again in, the, in the eternity. A donkey in the days of Balaam and it talked like a natural man. Wow. A rooster and Peter heard it crow a gospel of condemnation. Mm -hmm. A dove and made it a symbol of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. A virgin and she brought forth a child and called his name Jesus. Mm -hmm. An old rugged cross and made it represent a bargain kept, a debt paid, a bail bond posted, a substitution made, a signpost to glory, a battle fought, and a victory won. Amen. Now he's in the soul-satisfying business. He wa he's washing the sinful souls and making them pure and holy. Mm -hmm. A child had said, Yes, she said, when in a divine kind of way, God washes our souls about the same way. You see, when a sinner really believes in his heart that Christ is the Son of God and is willing to accept him as his personal Savior, the Holy Spirit gets busy. <laughs> A little boy asked his mother one day as she was be bending over the washboard, Mother, how does God wash souls? She said, come back after a while and I will try to explain it to you. <laughs> while the child was gone, the mother whispered home 
of prayer asking God to show her a way to explain this great mystery so that the child could understand. When the child came back, the mother said to him, see how I'm washing and wringing out these clothes. The Holy Spirit brings forth a wash tub like my grandmother used to do back in the early days when I was a little boy because it stands for a bright dispensation of grace. The tub is welded around the seams by the love of God. A big number three is written on the bottom of it, representing <laughs> grace, mercy, and truth. All right. Then the Holy Spirit pours in the blood that was shed on Calvary and sets it in the washboard of his divine will. Then the Holy Spirit begins rubbing the believer's soul once in the name of the Father, once in the name of the Son, and once in the name of the Holy Spirit. Then the Holy Spirit rings out the believer's soul until he rings out the suds of selfishness, rings out all manner of sin and evil, kind of like I'm doing these clothes right now. The reason I know I'm what I'm talking about, church, is that's the way it happened to me. All right, all right, all right, all right. When the Holy Spirit brought out my soul on that one Sunday morning, when I was eight years old, and again here today, the Holy Spirit wrung out my soul until he wrung out all hatred wrung out of my soul. Until he wrung out all malice wrung out of my soul. Until he wrung out tears, the tears from my eyes, mm -hmm. lust from my mind, mm -hmm. envy from my heart, mm -hmm. hatefulness out of my soul, mm -hmm. curse words out of my mouth, mm -hmm. wickedness out of my life, Sales. and lies out of my character. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then the Holy Spirit changed my feet so I can walk right. Changed my heart so I can live right. Changed my tongue so I can talk right. Changed my mind so I can think right. Now I can say, I'm saved, I'm sanctified, and filled with the Holy Spirit. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Holy Spirit. Let the church say, yes. 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 Oh, yes. oh yes. Oh yes. If he did it for me, well, he will do it say for it, you. Say say it. It. Say it. Say it. It's time to sanctify yourselves. Right. Are you filled and saved, sanctified with the Holy Spirit? Yeah. Don't wait on the bus and let it pass you by. Right. The doors of the church are now open. God is with you, so who can be against you? Yeah. No matter what they say, no matter what they do, they talked about Christ, they're going to talk about you too. But it's not what they call you, it is what you answer to. And when you got the Lord on your side, you can do anything.
I pray that God has fed your souls on this morning. I do just want to have five minutes after service uh, to discuss some things with uh, uh, Monday, Thursday service, and uh, and then I will let you go. Please, please, please uh, don't run out afterwards. Just want to discuss a quick thought with you all uh, for that. Um, if we can have our heavenly benediction, our heavenly benediction, amen, amen. That the preacher is going to give us our benediction. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. Now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling. Yes, Lord. And present your, you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceedingly joy. To God our Savior, yes, Lord. who alone is, is wise, be glory and majesty, then dominion and power both now and forever. Amen. 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 God bless you. God keep you. And know that we love you here at Bethel. Also, our tithes and our offerings, God's people. Our tithes and our offerings. We just want to say thank you for all that continue to contribute contribute to this great church. We thank you. Press down, runneth over, and shake it together. If you believe that God can, he will supply the need. Let us pray over the offering. Lord, we thank you in the name of Jesus for all those who have given and all of those who had the heart to give but could not, Lord, Heavenly Father. Lord, let us continue to build your kingdom, Lord, Heavenly Father. Yes, Lord. Lord, we thank you for all that is passed. Thank, thank you, you for the giving of fire, for the giving that's going on through there, Lord, Heavenly thank Father. You, thank you for the giving that these precious gifts will build up your kingdom. Yeah. Both now and forevermore. All of God's people say amen, amen, amen. 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 God bless you. God keep you. Until next time. Amen.